Okay, so a lot of you guys, when you were first learning astrology, probably learned about the sign Cancer and have maybe wondered, is there anything that Cancer has to do with the actual disease of Cancer? Or is there any kind of connection? So <clears throat> this was a question that I kind of had when I was really young, um, learning about this stuff. And it wasn't until much later that I sort of realized it. And then um, I was watching a video where uh, my teacher sort of touched on the same idea. So yeah, I was like, this really is probably the reason for it, so I'm going to share this. Um, so first off, what's really interesting is that in the in the Upadesha Sutras of the ancient sage Jaimini, he gives uh, the sign Capricorn to having to do with Cancer. Capricorn is the opposite side of Cancer. Um, and this makes a lot of sense. Capricorn is actually the sign that is uh, like least able to change on a material level like it's least able to change itself you know the gator the, the the crocodile or the gator is what capricorn symbolizes in vedic astrology it's actually called it's not a goat fish it's called makara um, a crocodile or a gator and that's something that has not changed at all in the fossil record for millions of years so it represents enduring the test of time you know saturn is time and he takes forever and so capricorn's really they want to do karmas and actions that really stand the test of time and don't become obsolete a year later, you know, like iTunes has to be updated every year, every, no, not even every month, you know, um, so that wasn't a very good Capricorn thing. When iTunes was started, it probably wasn't started on healthy Capricorn, just as an example. Um, I just, I know with my computer that it always, it makes me update iTunes like every week <laughs> um, and I reject that, but so... Um, so Capricorn is that sign, that sign of uh, not wanting to change, and that's actually a sign of tumors. So you get a tumor because it's kind of like, like there's this m thing that's not changing, this thing that's not connecting to you, and it's a part of you, and it's also um, something you're not able to integrate. And Capricorn has a lot to do with integrating everything, um, like in alchemy, in Western alchemy systems, Capricorn has a lot to do with how you're integrating things. Um, Capricorn can have to do with uh, actually rotting and fermentation and things if one is not uh, if one is not changing or adapting you see so so uh, <laughs> this is what's funny is that Capricorn is actually the sign that will give you tumors that will relate to getting cancer and tumors um, now back to cancer cancer is the opposite sign so cancer is the sign that's the most adaptable um, it's the sign of the moon which is changing the most changing the fastest um, so, and, and Cancer is the sign of the moon, which is the planet of growth. So Cancer, that sign, uh, the Rashi Cancer, can have a lot to do with this disease of Cancer, <laughs> of getting tumors and um, uncontrolled growths as well. Um, now, B.V. Rahman, he used to say uh, Cancer is the sign of getting the disease Cancer. But uh, I think what is really going on is that um, the, when the sign of Cancer is afflicted, it's showing one isn't adapting or able to grow easily so cancer so you get cancer but if you have healthy planets in cancer the sign cancer then you can avoid the disease of cancer I'm sure, I know this is hard for me to explain I'll call it tumors from here on so um so you can get uh, if you have afflicted planets in cancer Capricorn you can get tumors and suffer from cancer because your body is not adapting or it's or it's wanting to not or it's too much or there's something going on there um, if you have strong healthy planets in Capricorn or cancer you can actually overcome cancer though or disease the, the tumorous types of diseases actually because it shows that one can make the changes necessary to themselves on the emotional level the watery moon level of Cancer and then the earthy Saturnian level of Capricorn, the physical external level. So yeah, uh, in a way Cancer is the sign of Cancer but only when we factor in Capricorn as well. And that that kind of polarity is sort of what we're, um, what you want to examine if you're ever examining the disease of Cancer <laughs> and getting tumors. Okay so uh, yeah I hope that makes sense, I hope that helps you guys. I thought it was just really interesting how those words have come about. It seems like the the word a cancer has has come about as a term for a growth, um, and you know cancer is the sign of the moon, the sign of growth. So you know medical professionals and doctors in the old days were actually all astrologers. Just so you guys know, you may not believe that, um, but so there's there had to be a similar origin for this term cancer, 
Um, cancer is also the pincer. It symbolizes like claws pincing at something. Probably has something to do with it as well. Um, but yeah, the doctors were astrologers in the old days, so there what there must be some sort of connection here. Um, and in fact, a lot of you guys might not know this, but in the old days, country doctors, even in America, when you would get a call for someone, oh, they're sick, you know, um, we need to call the country doctor to come along, they would actually cast a Prajna chart. They would cast an astrology chart for the moment the country doctor was called to go and examine his patient, and he would read that chart to know if you were going to live or die before he even ever got to see you. And, of course, in the old days, they wouldn't, you know, they would... They wouldn't necessarily tell you the case of what they saw in the truth, and that's where the saying, tell it to me straight, doctor, came from, or, you know, tell it to me straight, doc, that was a saying that came about because it was so common in the old days for doctors to see your death with the chart and know you're going to die and not have anything to do about it, so just want to soothe you and calm you down, you know? Um, Another fun fact about medical astrology and doctors and all in the Western tradition is, uh, you know, Hippocrates, where every doctor takes the Hippocratic Oath. Um, Hippocrates was one of the fathers of modern medicine, and he's literally quoted saying, anyone who practices astrology, or sorry, anyone who practices medicine without knowledge of astrology is a fool. He literally says that. All right, thanks, you guys. Take care.